Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and another video on Courseplay and we're going to be linking in Auto Drive today. Uh, so I'm going to cover, now that Courseplay and Auto Drive work together quite well, I'm going to cover running a slurry spreader and a manure spreader with uh, Auto Drive handling the refilling for us because uh, with slurry you could do it before anyway but now with manure pits having a fill trigger we can do it with manure as well. So we are first going to set up our Auto Drive course. Uh, we have a fairly big field so I'm not actually going to do all of it I'm just going to show you how to set it up and how to get it running and uh, we will then swap over to the manure spreader and do the same thing and uh, that'll be it before we get stuck into that uh, if you're not already and most of you are please click the subscribe button turn on notifications uh, daily pretty much daily videos on FS22 if you enjoyed the video click the like button and leave me a comment those things will really help out so let's get stuck into this. We uh, have all the auto drive menu up and I've just brought the edit menu up by clicking on the little hazard warning symbol and we are going to click. Actually we're going to make sure first that we have the line height above the tractor just because I prefer that. Uh, and then we are going to click record and we are going to make a point for field 32. And hopefully you'll see that I've fixed my cursor problem. Uh, and we're then going to loop around and we're going to go past the slurry pit and we will then add a point in for the slurry pit so I like to get the F1 menu up here although the slurry tank is full just so that we can see there we go we've got the trigger for filling we have a point we're going to name that slurry refill now we just loop back around and close up the course. And you can see there we've got the trigger for the near pit which we'll be using after this. Obviously if you've got a, a real farm set up your drive between your fields and your slurry point might be longer than this. So the next thing we need to do is set up course plate um, and we are We'll just actually we'll set up auto drive first. So we are on load mode. We are our target is field 32. Our fill up point is slurry refill, and we are filling up with slurry. And then we'll open up the course play menu. I believe there is a course loaded already, so I'm just going to clear that off. And we will create our job. Got course play field work selected. We are going to select field 32. Put our two targets in the field you can see it's highlighted our field that we are using open up the uh, course generator we'll do two headlands we'll start working on the headlands we'll do smooth corners the, the field margin thing i think is a bug from the latest update so we'll just set that to zero and we'll generate our course there we go so we can close that we can close that and we'll enable course play there and I'm just going to drive down to the first waypoint and off we go and we just need to let this run down the uh, first tank of slurry and then what will happen is auto drive will take over drive us back over to the slurry point refill and then come back to where we were on the field at least that's the theory um, tested this a few times and generally it works but you know it's auto drive and course play and I'm doing this live rather than recording the voiceover afterwards so we'll see how it goes shall we um, I did find that I was initially selecting the wrong mode auto drive and that was stopping it working the uh, the tractor would just drive straight past the fill trigger and then nothing could happen which was quite frustrating this is obviously a very big field and you maybe wouldn't use a slurry tank of this size to do it but if you've got lots of slurry or digestate you can use auto drive to manage this for you and you can just go off and do other things and we're getting to the point where we are almost empty I do quite like the slurry effect and what we could have done actually is 
you can obviously double up the slurry application rate but I'm not sure if we can do that while we have a worker going that lets you get your two fertilization states in one hit at the cost of using a lot more slurry so we are done um, at the moment it tells you the worker has stopped and I think it starts a new worker with auto drive but you can see auto drive is now heading off to uh, the field point and then it will should loop around fill up with slurry and then carry on and once we've seen that we can uh, switch over to doing that with the manure spreader and we'll be good it's really cool that we're getting some of this integration going on and the new features with course play and auto drive and stuff and i think we're we're not far off being where we were with fs19 already um the things that i think are missing from course play is the ability to uh do compact a pit so we should just fill up here as we uh we get quite slow as you come up to the trigger but we should fill up Hopefully, and we are not filling up. That's interesting. Why aren't we filling up? So, we will just push that forwards a little bit and back up. Now, because I've had to stop it, we're going to change course plate to the last waypoint and then we will take that off edit mode still got the little course plate icon highlighted and we'll just hit play again and hopefully this time we will fill up and for some reason we are not That's quite interesting. Why don't you want to fill up? I suspect we're still not pulling forwards far enough. So I'm holding down right click on the point and just dragging it forwards. So what we will also do while we're here is activate double slurry usage rate so that we uh, we get through the slurry a little bit quicker. Okay, so we're going to do a lap now. So this is probably the downside of me setting this course up live and not having it pre-recorded. But equally, this is what happens when you're going to be using auto drive. You need to get your course set up and do a bit of refinement. If I had this all pre-recorded, you'd probably think, wow, that, that should be really easy. And you'll try it and you'll get stuck. So hopefully this time we will uh, pull forwards and start filling up with slurry. Just get the edit menu up. Come on come on there we go so yeah my just didn't have this point far enough forwards very quick fill there and we should now go around and continue from the last waypoint hopefully there is a chance we'll go back to the first one um i found sometimes that happens the first time you get everything working but we'll see we'll see how we get on sometimes i feel a bit frustrated that these tutorials don't quite work as they you know they're not the slickest in the world sometimes but they're the reality of using course play and auto drive together so hopefully yeah, you guys appreciate showing some of that um let's see we are now heading back over the field almost following our tracks and it looks like we should link up with our last waypoint and we'll let this quickly do another run through just so you can see it actually working properly because that was a little bit ropey and then we'll do some manure and it's just it, honestly it's pretty much the same process with manure but i'll show it anyway just so you get the idea of how to set it up and i guess the big difference with fs22 is that the manure pits now have a refill trigger so you don't need to set up course play or something to fill it or have belts waiting you can just drive up and hit r um, 
So as I was saying, the bit that's missing so far, I think, from course play is that what I just mentioned, actually running a front loader or a wheel loader or a tele handler to fill something up. I didn't do much of that in FS19, but Argosy Gaming had some brilliant tutorials on that on his uh, Western Australia playthrough. Um, and the other one is pit compacting. So I used to use course play a fair bit later on in my gameplay for doing pit compacting. You could either do a really simple backwards and forwards course, pre-recorded, and like could you, like you would use it as a karting course in the old version of course play. Um, that worked really well. Or the proper um, compacting and rolling and leveling that you could use it with that mode in course play. Um, those are the things that I think, um, certainly things I used in 19 that are missing that would be really nice to have back because compacting a pit sometimes is a bit of a pain. Um, so yeah, that would be nice to come back, I think. Auto drive, I think is close to being good good enough for me. I don't mean that to sound bad. Um, it does everything that I want pretty much. Um, you, if you watched the sugar cane video, you will have seen it struggle a bit with that. And I think it struggles a bit with potato harvesters, but um, probably you could just cart yourself and if you're going to be doing a big potato harvest, you probably want course play running a couple of potato harvesters, if I'm honest. So you, you're probably going to end up driving that yourself, carting. So we're going to see now if I've got my fill up set right. Obviously, if you're playing your own proper save game doing this, once you've got this fill up point set right, and as you build your auto drive network, all this stuff will become you know, almost second, you know, second nature and fairly easy. You'll, you'll pick your field target, you'll pick your slurry fill point, and set auto drive and course play off, and they will just happily work away for you till you run out or um, your field's done. It's, uh, it's that simple, really. It's, it's just a really, if you're running a big farm, it's a really nice way of getting some of these jobs done. Um, or if you've just got a lot going on, you need to get a field fertilised, you should stick course play and auto drive on to uh, to get things done. Or if you're running dairy cows and your slurry pit is full and you just need to get rid of the slurry, chuck it on a grass field. Um, pick a contract up like I did on our creek uh, on my Ravenwood dairy farm. Uh, but yeah, you know, stick the double application rate, go and chuck it on a grass field. You need to keep that slurry pit from filling up to keep the milk production going. So there we go, we are refilling and uh, we should then run back over to where we were. There's been a bit of a, a wave of course play videos and auto drive videos and that's as the recent updates have just added functionality and so I'm picking, you know, as this new functionality gets added, I'm going to do videos on it. Uh, partly because it helps me learn how to use it and partly because I think you guys find these tutorials helpful. So the next one I have coming up is uh, Forage Dragons, and people have asked for that a few times. And uh, the functionality is there in game now, and it links up with Auto Drive. So what you can do is run a mower and a forage forage wagon on the back, or you could mow it and then run a forage wagon, and you can get Auto Drive to uh, take it to the pit for you. So that should be tomorrow's video, depending on which order I release things. Um, it's the next auto drive course play video i'm going to be recording so it'll be out in a day or so anyway uh, i'm really keen to get stuck into calmston with the update having come out i'm uh, so i may jump to do that next we'll see uh, and it, the let's plays have kind of dropped off a bit in the last few weeks and that's just because all these tutorials i think are, are really useful they're really helping my channel grow and getting views up and stuff and I think people want them so the, the let's plays are definitely still going to be coming they're just going to be coming slightly less often um, so there we go we are running back with the slurry so i'm going to reset things and grab the manure spreader and we'll have a look at that all right we're back everything is reset and we have something slightly bigger um, and not a full spreader this time so we're going to need to re-record the course and reset things up and then we will uh, just demonstrate it with a manure spreader. The benefit of it not being quite full is we can hopefully get the trigger in the right place like we, uh, the issue we had with the uh, slurry spreader. So uh, auto drive menu, hit the triangle to bring up edit mode. Just going to check because I didn't save the game so I could reset it. I just want to put them back to above tractor just because that's what I prefer. So back into edit mode, hit record, and we are going to drop the waypoint for field 32. Pull forward a bit, and then a new round. 
bring the F1 menu up to check that we can refill. There we go, and I'm actually just going to drive a little bit further forwards and we'll call that menu built. Close the F1 menu now. Just round and join this up to the end. Obviously, on a proper let's play, you probably have a big auto drive network. Oh, look, yeah. you could use something like this if you had an auger wagon that was full of manure to fill up with, maybe. Uh, so just uh, stopped and then clicked on, sorry, left clicked on the end last point we recorded, and then left clicked on where we want to join it, and then we'll turn off record mode. I'm sorry, sometimes I don't cover those bits with auto drive. Um, I tend to assume people know the basics, and maybe I shouldn't. I don't know if, yeah, so we can do a double application rate on this, which is the comma key, so we're going to do that as well. And we're going to set auto drive up, so again, our target is field 32, our fill point is the manure fill, and we're on manure. We then need to do a course play course. So, and actually, you can see now that the auto drive route is shown on the menu, and you can see the other bits of the auto drive network as well. I'm not big on massive auto drive networks, so I've, that's why I've not really done a video on building a road network and things. It's, uh, it's not how I use auto drive. Anyway, so we're in the helper menu. We are going to get back in our tractor. We're going to create a job, course play field work. We're going to set our target position for the vehicle to drive through to we're going to select our start point for the job, which highlights the field. We'll open course generator. We'll do two headlands. We'll start on headlands with smooth. And again, we've got that minus three, which is a hangover from the update to uh, course plate. And we'll generate a fieldwork course. And we are good to go. So we can close that. We can close that down. And so we want to go out of edit mode on here. And this icon here, the little course play icon, you want to left click on that. That enables the interaction between course play and auto drive. And then I'm going to right click and bring up the HUD. Or if you've disabled right click for the course play HUD, then any whichever button you have tied that to. I'm going to left click on here to change it to first waypoint. And then I, I like to drive myself a little bit closer. And then we are going to hit go and because we have double application rate hopefully we will empty fairly quickly it's a slightly bigger spreader than the uh, slurry spreader that we had but I think they're going down fairly quickly and uh, I quite like the menu of texture in 22 I've not really done a lot of manure spreading in the game yet just because I haven't really played it enough I don't think I'm uh, hoping to change that with Comston coming out um, it's a really nice texture set as I was saying when I stopped the slurry spreading one, the let's plays have slowed down a bit and they're going to come back. And what I'm probably going to try and do is run at least one of each series a week because I'm going to be running three series for a bit. So I've got uh, the Survival Challenge, Ravenwood Dairy, and we're going to be starting a, a start from scratch type realis, semi realism series on Calmston. If you been with the channel a long time and you saw my Sandy Bay series which was my second ever series it's going to be that kind of style um, so limited starting money um, can't use cheaty auto load things and things like that um, and yet yeah, we're going to see if we can build up a successful farm when I did it on Sandy Bay we ended up uh, with about a 10 million pound farm and we started with the half a million basic which is what we're going to start with on, uh, on Calmston so yeah, probably going to get into that in the next day or so, I think. So hopefully we will fill up. Hopefully I've got my trigger in the right place for this one. If it's worked and we get restarted, I'm going to call it a day there because this video is a bit longer than I had wanted it to be. It's the downside of doing things in real time, I guess. There we go. We are refilling from the manure pit. Um, this is a really nice feature if you want to automate things or if you're in a bit of a hurry. Um, if you want to play realistically, you can still get in there with a front loader or a telehandle or whatever and scoop the manure out and put it in your in your muck spreader or your trailer manually. But if you're in a hurry or you're not that fast on the realism, you can just drive up and refill it with the trigger. It just depends how you play. You can play how you want. It's a, it's a really nice thing about farms and you can play however you want. So, so we should now just run back to where we were, hopefully, and uh, we'll get going. 
this one is hopefully going to be a bit slicker the only potential issue I can see is it wanting to drive to the first waypoint for the first restart um, but it looks like we're not doing that so it looks like we are going to be okay for this one it would be nice if you moved over a little bit there we go looks like we have nailed this one so if you found this video useful and you listened to my message at the start and you still haven't done it click subscribe and turn on notifications it's really simple it really helps me out it makes me 10 percent less grumpy for each person that does it um, if you've enjoyed the video hit the like button we do not smash like buttons here they are valuable i need lots of likes if you smash it you pay for it and if you've got questions and stuff leave me a comment down below or just if you enjoyed the video and you found it useful leave me a comment i try to reply to pretty much every comment i can if you comment on a video way after it's released sometimes i can't remember what your comment relates to and i always want to sit and watch a 20 minute video of my own to uh, be able to answer your comment so if, if you're commenting in you know fairly soon after the video is released i'll pretty much always reply um, so yeah i hope you found this useful and uh, i'll catch you next time